Okay, I'm back, and I was able to get the collar straightened out. Uh, it was just a matter of finagling with it and uh, taking out a few clips out of the top as well as the bottom, how I clipped it like this, remember? And so then I pinned it, and I can see that I have a little on each side. So that looks correct, the same amount on each side. And I'm going to stitch, and I'm going to miss this. So I'm going to go all the way across from a line from here, all the way across, but miss the middle so that I can tuck it back in like I showed earlier. And while I'm on the subject, this is also a good book right here uh, that I use. It's called uh, Simplicity, Simply the Best Sewing Book. In this book, like if you have trouble with the pattern, you can look in here in this book and it'll tell you what, what, what it's trying to tell you in the pattern. So, uh, like right here, you can see cutting around the edge like we just did, that kind of thing. So it tells you how to construct garments completely using patterns. And Simplicity is the maker of the pattern that we're using. So, just FYI on that. So now, we're going to go ahead and stitch this. Now, because I want all my fabric on one side, I'm going to start over here. But actually, like this, yeah. Now what I have to be careful of is to not get it bunched up at all. So I'm going to start here. And you just got to kind of watch it so that you've got to feel it is what you got to do. And feel the fabric. So I'm going to start right here and start sewing at 5 eighths of an inch. So uh, that's again, that's a, a, a half inch is 4 eighths. So it's a little bit bigger than a half inch. So here we go. And I'm going to set my stitch length at 3.5. So I have a nice long stitch there. So first we we tie it off with a, with a uh, knot stitch, you back stitch, and then it, that ties it off. So here we go. Hopefully this will work out. <laughs> it's always scary. Then every time you get to a pin, you have to take it out. I should have brought my pin cushion over here. Uh, that red pin cushion over there. Somehow, some, somehow it's going to just show up. I don't know how. Could be that my wife is home and she is going to give me a hand. <laughs> oh, she throws it to me, so she is off camera. Okay, that's fine. Not everybody likes the camera. Okay, so here we go. Uh, here, we got another pin. So I'll just go through. If you run over a pin, it, it usually doesn't hurt it. Occasionally, you, you could end up, it is possible to hit it with the, where the timing is off, and it just happens to hit it, but most of the time that doesn't occur. I also notice something's getting caught here, so I'm going to cut that uh, or something to cut it in. There's some scissors way over here, so they're never where they're supposed to be. There. So we keep going here, and then you got to watch this. So now, you just keep going straight at 5 eighths of an inch. And then pull this pin out. It's a little bit of a slow process. This is probably the most difficult part of sewing a, a shirt. So that's why I'm, it's taking a little longer to sew this part.
got to be careful that it doesn't get bunched up under there. You kind of feel the fabric. You just keep feeling it to make sure that, because if it gets bunched up under there, then you, you're going to have to get the seam ripper and rip it out and fix that part. Okay, so right here is where now we're sewing through all the fabrics. We pass the part where it was pulled up. Now you could use a tighter stitch. I just like I like a 3.5 because if I have to pull it out, it's a little bit easier. Uh, that's why I use that. But you could use a tighter stitch, and it would be perfectly fine. Okay, so now that's that. We're done with that part. So let's take a look and see how we did. See, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So we got it. It, it was actually came out straight and I didn't catch it anywhere. Oh, maybe a little right here. Oh, see, this is what I was talking about. See, I caught it a little bit, and it pulled it like a little funny thing in there. So I have to take that part out and just restitch it right there. But that's pretty easy. So what I do is I take my seam ripper, and this, this happens all the time in sewing. It's a common thing. You have to have a seam ripper, and... Uh, Let's see where it is. Here it is. So now the way you do a seam ripper is you kind of go like this and you try to find the thread like this. And you find the thread. I can see it's right there. And I gotta get the light right. Yeah. So then I just take it and try to catch that thread right there. There, see, now it's coming out, see? Got a little bit more right there. It actually rips itself out sometimes, kind of. I don't know if you can see that. But here, let me bring it in so you can see how I'm doing this. Okay, so right here, you can see that, see that little puck right there, that's it, so I'm trying to get that out. I need more light in here, I'm just going to, it's hard to pull the camera and do this too, but I'm going to get it. You don't want to tear the material either, that's the other thing, when you're using this little seam ripper. Let me just try pulling it like that. No, it's not going to come that way. Another way to get it is from in here, see? There. There, I can see it now. It's just a little brown thread. Once I break that thread, it'll it'll come undone. There we go. It's pretty good. There. So now it's straighter. See? I got it all straightened out. See? Where before it was there. So now I have to sew it again. But I don't have to use all the pins and all that. All I have to do is sew it. Make sure it's straight and sew it. So I use the same line that I see. I can see the line. So I just go here. Pull it as tight and taunt as I can and go with it. Go back one stitch to lock it off and then go with it. And I'm stitching right on that line. There. And back stitch. That should fix it. We'll take a look. This is no matter how experienced the person is at sewing, this happens all the time. It's just a part of sewing, that you can't always get the thing to go perfectly. Okay, so now, take a look at it. See, got that little piece out, even though this is, it wouldn't have mattered that much, because this is going to flip over, you won't even see it, but, you know, let's make it perfect. So, 
Here is a, you gotta give it a little haircut. Everything gets a haircut because you gotta keep all these hairs. They're not really hairs, but it's just stuff that gets caught in the fabric. But anyway, I like that. So now the next part is we're going to uh, put the, the lapel part of it on. So like on this shirt here that I'm wearing, uh, uh, let's see if I can see right there. There's, I can't really tell if I'm, I'm too close to the camera, but here, let me use a, a shirt. What I'm talking about. So on this shirt, you can see right here, see, I gotta put this lapel, this part, attached. See, you see it's not attached here. So I gotta put a piece in here. Uh, let me back this off so I can show you better. I gotta be a cameraman and, uh, yeah, so right there. See that piece? Well, it'll turn into this because I'm going to sew this piece in here and that'll be the corner. So this little corner will be this little corner. So this is going to end up going like this. But you'll see in a minute when I, when I start doing it. i got to set it up. It's going to take me a few minutes. But basically, it's another sandwich. So here's the other piece and that, that goes in there. And so this piece will go like, uh, oh, this is the wrong side. Okay, this is the right side, I think. Yeah. It'll go in here like this, and this will go right to the shoulder seam, like that. And this will go to here. You see, this is matching this. But it's going to get in there by sandwiching it in, like this. So this will all get hidden in there. So when I flip it, it'll be sandwiched in like that. You see? So I'm going to do that and uh, work on that for a bit. And then I'll start the video again and show you the, how that worked once I get it all pinned. Okay, talk to you in a bit.